particular age so if you are trying to inculcate a habit Uh, then the first thing i would say for parents is to model the behavior so you have to be able to set an example for your toddler uh, that you know because your children actually imitate you a lot so if you want them to eat on the table like on the dining table sitting on the dining uh, you know um, and eating with everybody you have to be able to set an example you have to do it yourself you have to show it to them that this is the right way to do it then second thing i would say is actually repeating an activity so actually repeating something often you know helps in uh, forming in uh, forming a habit so if you really want them to actually uh, let's say brush their teeth uh, every day uh, and then you should be i mean one of the ways to actually do it is do it with them show them the, you know this is how we are brushing the teeth they are not the only ones who are actually doing it but the parents are also doing it and then kind of setting an example and doing it over and over again over a period of time constantly and not giving up on that and i think uh, by with the time they actually learn and they grasp uh, that thing and they're able to do it themselves uh, third thing i would say is actually laying down the ground rules which is um, if you really want them to actually eat and without any distraction without any screen time for example then you have to lay down the ground rules which is like this time is for reading this time is for playing this time is for if you're providing them screen time and this time is for eating so basically this is like the family time and so on so you have to lay down the ground rules and you don't have to be like extra relaxed with them or you know extra flexible you just have to like inculcate a little bit of discipline on also on that front because all these kind of instructions and whatever you are doing has to come from the parent they are the ones who are going to adapt those uh, to those things the way the parents are actually going to tell them then uh, another thing is actually um, you should avoid micromanaging so for example if you want your kid to be able to do things by themselves for example in the toddler age they are like very keen on actually doing things by themselves for example you know wearing their shoes wearing their socks wearing their pants and so on you should avoid micromanaging i mean they might not get it right in the first go but they will eventually get it right let them explore let them do it let them make mistakes and they will actually be able to do those things and then another thing is uh, you know giving them responsibility and trusting them um, that you know they can be self dependent so for example if you uh, one of the examples is like you know you do your grocery shopping i often take my daughter for grocery shopping she has her like own uh, grocery uh, cart and everything uh, because i want her to actually be in the same shoes as me i even like let her pay through the apple pay so that she actually knows the entire process so this actually helps her you know i mean that might be new for her for the first time but she's actually enjoying it she feels like you know she is in charge and she can do it and then over time it actually becomes a habit for her and she will kind of like you know do it repeatedly another thing is in habit formation habits are something which are not really some of them i mean you know can take months to form you know so in that particular case i would say it's very very important to be patient with them to always like encourage them to have an environment which is positive not give up on them and also you know have some kind of a reward system so if they have done a, some if they have actually done something uh, which you wanted them to do and done positively then you know always kind of uh, as a motivating factor always kind of give them a reward give them some encouraging words so that you know they think that okay this is what i'm doing and this has this particular consequences a uh, consequence and it's a positive thing so they would actually you know would like to themselves keep on doing it so yeah i mean overall i think like incentives help and most of the things uh, has to basically come from the parents as well how they want to approach things